Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading. This is a general energy reading for you. We'll see what is going on with you at this time. What is it that you need to know here from your guides and from the divine and the holy angels? So let's see here. This can be past, present, or future Sagittarius, okay? Take it where it resonates for you. Now let's see, what is going on here with Sagittarius? Holy angels and our divine spirit guides. What is going on with Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Let's see. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the first card out is we have a Page of Cups. Now, this could be some sort of good news, okay? Some sort of good news. Something is being blocked, though, or somebody made the wrong choice. And this might have something to do with the past. But we, even with the Page of Cups here and the Six of Cups, this might have something to do with uh, children, maybe, okay? Let's see what this is. Why is the Page of Cups here for Sagittarius? Why is the Page of Cups here for Sagittarius? This might even be like an offer or something like that. Some sort of an innocent offer. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands here, the Hermit, the Magician, and the Hangman in reverse. So someone here tried to take a stand against something or somebody put in some sort of effort into blocking something, defending something with some sort of a an illusion, I almost want to say, with the magician. Hangman in reverse to, to get someone stuck. Someone was trying to create something, manifest something. Okay, we'll have to see. What's the two wands reverse? The Seven of Cups and the Empress. And the page of wands so there's some sort of confusion here someone might be confused there's an empress energy that could be confused or someone was trying to create some sort of confusion around an empress energy with a message or someone is receiving a message now and they're confused about it and they feel blocked okay what's the six of cups We have the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Swords. So this could be something about the past, maybe something that happened in the past. Someone here is feeling very burdened by something. Something is not working out, okay? Some sort of a plan is not working out. Something wasn't strategized very well. With the Four of Swords, somebody could be thinking about something, they're contemplating something, something that happened in the past and how a plan maybe didn't go the way that someone thought it would. They're feeling very burdened. They're feeling like something didn't um, pan out well, like a strategy is not working, okay? Mm, let's see if we can find out more. What's the page of cards? Tell me a little bit more about what this is, please. The Five of Swords. So this has something to do with deception. Page of Cups and deception. What is the Page of Cups? Clock. Needs time, takes time, in time cycles. So this, could, this has something to do with time or something has been a long time. Something has been going on in time cycles. But what is this Page of Cups? Is it an offer? Is it good news? 
the world. It's about someone closing out a cycle, maybe four of cups. Someone feels discontent. Someone feels rejected or they're rejecting something. Okay, what is the page of cups? A coffin in reverse. Something's not ending for someone. Something's not ending for someone. Help me understand this a little bit more, this deception. What is this? Five of Swords. Could also have something to do with someone's innocence, okay? Maybe someone being a wholesome energy, a breakup and a separation. A breakup and a separation, silent treatment, abandonment. So maybe this is about some sort of good news, some sort of a love offer, some sort of a sweet message, sweet messages, a sweet offer. Something has been going on for a very long time or something needs more time, something is taking time, but something is not ending. But there's a deceptive, sabotaging energy here trying to create maybe a breakup or a separation from something. What's the Four of Cups? Uh, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email. Someone feeling rejected because of some sort of text call, emails. They can't end something. What's the four of, uh, the five of swords? A mature woman in reverse. Okay, so there's a mature woman in reverse here who's, um, in some sort of sabotaging energy or backstabbing, conniving energy here. And it has to do with a breakup or a separation. So maybe there was a breakup or a separation. Maybe someone was rejected. They're receiving some sort of a communication or an email that there's been a rejection of something or a breakup or some sort of silent treatment. But they can't end something. What is it that they can't end? Coffin in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody coming out of hard times. Hmm. What is this uh, Seven of Wands, this defensive energy here? Eight of Cups. So someone has walked away from someone or something. Knight of Swords. Someone wants to come in and stop this from happening. Someone's trying to block someone from walking away and leaving. What's the seven, um, the Knight of Swords? Yeah, not today. Okay, so someone definitely in this situation doesn't want to talk, okay? Silent treatment. Not today, avoiding a conversation called person. Someone has boundaries. Someone is giving someone the silent treatment. They don't wanna talk anymore. They don't wanna talk anymore. There's an ending here, coffin. Someone has walked away and doesn't wanna talk anymore. And there's someone here that doesn't, is trying to stop that from happening here. Yeah, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. Maybe this page of cups is somebody that tried to reach out, right? A page of cups can sometimes even be like an apology, okay? It can be somebody that's trying to reach out and be like, hey, you know, hi, how you doing? Like trying to come across very sweet and innocent, um, trying to, you know, reach out and give some sort of good news. Maybe somebody has been doing this in time cycles, okay? Or they're waiting for the right time to come in and give someone this like sweet message or an offer, an apology or something like that. But somebody feels rejected with messages. 
it's making someone very um, conniving and um, making someone act very selfishly or like a very calculated conniving energy here because they're getting the silent treatment. They're getting ignored. They're getting ignored. Someone here is getting ignored and it's making them like angry. It's making them act out, making them feel rejected because somebody doesn't want to talk. Someone is ignoring someone and walking away. So what's the hermit? The two of swords. This is someone who might be in denial, okay? They might be, I'm getting like, they're, they might be in denial. So it might be this person that you're not talking to, okay? Mature woman in reverse. This person pretends like they don't know why you're not talking to them. Um, maybe they think that just reaching out and sending a nice message is enough. I don't know. Oh, the high priestess, okay. Maybe you know that this person is just very secretive, okay? Like there's an intention behind why they're reaching out. You're just not buying something. You know that there's always kind of like a hidden intention as to why they're reaching out. It's like, what do you want, okay? What's the two of swords? Transcending obstacles, preparing for union. They're trying to transcend an obstacle but they're pretending like they don't they don't they didn't do anything wrong they don't know what you're talking about so this is someone that i feel like um there's probably good reason why you're ignoring this person there's probably very good reason why you don't want to have anything to do with them or there's some sort of no contact okay but they reach out and they just try to like smooth something over like hey how you doing i hope all is well but you're like, I feel like there's something you're not saying. And they just pretend like they have no idea that they, what you're talking about, right? It's just a lot of deflection and um, something like that. What's the hermit? Why are they all flying on the floor today here? Wealthy man. Okay, so there's something that is being kept hidden about a wealthy man, or there's something this person is keeping inside. Like I said, with the Hermit and the High Priestess, whoever this energy is, is someone that doesn't say everything. They tend not to say um, their true intentions, what they really want, why they're really contacting you. They're very secretive. Um, they they act so mysterious, but they have a clear intention why they're reaching out to you. They're just going to come across like, um, oh, hey, I just wanted to reach out and ask how you doing. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, they're trying to transcend an obstacle and it has something to do with a wealthy man and you ignoring them, not wanting to talk to them is making them um, bitter. It makes them like even maybe um, like talk shit about you behind your back okay because they don't take accountability with the two of swords they don't the reason why they come across that way to you is because that's how they are even with themselves they just don't take accountability Tell me about the magician please the ace of cups somebody wants some sort of a new beginning here they're trying to create a new beginning. The emperor. With an emperor. Ten of swords. What? Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, my face is only like this because the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords is like a new beginning in love, a love offer, and then this is like a painful ending. It's like complete opposite direction. What is this? What is this that they're trying to create here? The Magician. 
heart, they're trying to create some sort of an illusion about someone being heartbroken. So maybe that's what that 10 of swords is. Someone is so heartbroken, they're deeply hurt. They're sad, they're in separation, they're grieving something. But this is, it comes out with mirroring each other. Mirroring, they're mirroring this energy. So, and the thing is, it's coming out with the magician. It's like something is not real. If you're a magician, if you're in mirroring magician energy, that's like an illusion. You're creating an illusion. You're creating something in a mirror that somebody wants to see. You're trying to create a reflection of something. You're trying to reflect back to someone what you think they want to see or what you want them to see, right? And it has something to do with feeling deeply hurt about a breakup. And some sort of a and some sort of a betrayal. Because they feel stuck. Why do they feel stuck? Hangman in reverse. So this is definitely some I'm this the Page of Cups, which is the one up here that I was wondering, like, what is this? The Tower. This is like some serious, like, covert stuff, like very covert, like subliminal manipulation that I feel, okay? Like, um, because they they want they will this is someone that really puts a lot of effort into making themselves look very sweet and nice and wholesome and um you know hi how you doing i just wanted to reach out um oh yes thank you so much like they're very kind or that's how they come across because they're they're the hermit and the high priestess this person is very secretive they are very calculated and they they are like almost a master with the two of swords of this this facade of i have no idea i have not oh like they have hidden intentions hidden motives hidden reasons why they're calling this is the kind of person that will talk to someone or call someone on the phone and they will ask a completely random question but because they want to hear a certain answer it's like how can i say this um like, let's say, let's say this person wants to know the whereabouts of a certain individual, okay? They'll call maybe the wife. Let's just say she wants to know the, or this person wants to know the whereabouts of the, ma the masculine. It's just an example. Just take it how it resonates. But they'll call the wife and ask the wife if, um, if they're, if, uh, uh, what they're doing today, okay? Oh, we're just doing this and this and this. Oh, are the kids gonna be with you then? You, but it, it's like, sh do you get what I'm saying? This is so hard, I'm trying to find a good example, but they're not gonna ask directly like, is that person gonna be there and there and there? They're gonna ask like questions on the side that will point to a different answer something like that. This person is a little manipulative, okay? And they're trying to mirror some sort of a, oh, I'm so heartbroken about something. It's hurting me so much. I feel so betrayed. But it's because someone is being ignored. Like, look, again, with the mirroring and that I have no idea why this is the way it is. I have no idea. Someone here is obviously getting ignored. Someone here is obviously receiving the silent treatment for something, okay? They got rejected. You don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to be around this person. You don't want to deal with them. You've walked away from them. You're ignoring them. There's probably very good reason why. Okay, nobody goes no contact with another human being unless there is very good reason for it. This person is playing the victim and they're like, oh, I'm so heartbroken and I just don't understand why. I have no idea why I'm being shut out. That's the that's what they're gonna play. The, I have no idea why I'm being ignored. I have no idea why they're doing this to me. I just can't understand why. I'm so innocent and wholesome. I'm so sweet. I just don't, I'm just a sweet old lady. I have no idea, it's just heartbreaking to me. Like, 
like this is like the like the the te like I'm just like let's just say granny on the rocker okay because we got an immature immature mature woman here okay um you know nobody talks to this lady but no she no nobody is or this lady is not telling anybody in the city that you know for the first 40 years of all the children's upbringings this person was a drunk beating everybody with a stick um you know, very abusive, manipulative, neglectful, and all that. But then old granny sits on her rocking chair in the evening and is, you know, going on about, oh, I can't believe I can't see my grandkids. I can't believe it. It's, you know, they just keep everyone from me and I have no idea why. Do you get, now do you get the energy? It's like, really, do you really not know why? Or are you just playing the victim now? That's, this energy, okay. What's the tower? Date. Meeting someone plan set a date. Why doesn't anybody want to see me anymore? Why doesn't anyone want to stay on the porch with me anymore? I'm so alone. They all left me all alone to go live in the city. I don't even know why. That's this lady <laughs> or this person. Look, you see reminiscing on this card, reminiscing keepsake learn from the past oh they had such a good past with me i was always there to take care of everyone i don't understand why they just left me all alone uh-huh that's okay now I, now i'm getting the energy at first i was confused i'm like what is this but now it's all making sense why is this lady like this the fool why is this lady or why is this person like this Oh, well, okay, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is this lady like this? Well, because, or this person, it's because they lie. They need a lot of intention. Um, they have toxic ways, okay? Like the devil doesn't even have to be that they're evil, but let's just go down the sins. I mean, this could be someone that is, you know, very selfish. Um, very prideful or just very um just very toxic i i don't know why i keep hearing gluttony 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 they're gluttonous okay um this this person could have some sort of toxic attachments i don't know maybe like i said maybe this person is a drinker okay the to the devil is uh, the ruler of addictions as well maybe this person is very greedy Maybe they're mean. Maybe they're neglectful. There's something here in them that makes them a toxic, shadowy person. And people around them see this in them. But the weird thing is, is they don't seem to see it in themselves. Or they just ignore this part of them. Or they just deflect it. And then they play the victim. Okay. King of Wands here. Again, at the bottom of the deck. So, two of Wands reversed. Now they feel blocked. Why do they feel blocked? Because this is a Queen of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay, so it might be a mother figure. We have the Empress here. Now we have a Queen of Cups in reverse here. We have Page of Cups here twice. I was getting at the beginning, this could have something to do with children. This could be a mother figure, but the Queen of Cups just came out in reverse, which is basically what I just described as someone that is, um, you know, over emotional, could be hysterical, but could also just be abusive, can be very neglectful, emotionally neglectful, emotionally abusive, um, heartless, you know, very self-centered. This person is emotionally imbalanced. This person could have personality disorders, okay? And there's something there. And again, the Queen of Cups in Reverse is a, someone who loves playing the victim. They love emotionally manipulating people and playing the victim. Oh, why doesn't anybody come to visit me? Yeah, that's exactly what I just described. And now they feel blocked. And they're confused. Look, here they are, confused. I don't understand. Okay, I don't know what there is to not understand, but... Well, I mean, the two of swords is here. This person is like, in the, again, with the hermit and the high priestess, this person is very manipulative and secretive. 
but they know how to play the victim very well. But they're not going to tell anybody all of their dirty little secrets. They're not going to tell anybody the shit that they got stinking in their closet. They're only going to say enough to make themselves look like the victim. And they're not the victim. But they love playing the victim. Okay? They do. So what are they so confused about here? Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. What are they so confused about? Eight of Swords. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. They feel like their hands are tied. Uh, okay, why? What's this confusion here? Seven of Cups. The Grim Reaper is in reverse. No second chance is in reverse. They can't, no, they don't accept this, okay? <sighs> grow and transform your life in reverse. They're never gonna grow. They're never gonna transform. And that's maybe why somebody walked away from this person. It was because sometimes you have, even if this is your own mother, you have to come to the realization sometimes that people don't change and they're never going to change. And they're always going to stay the same way, the same toxic way. Sometimes that's just how it is. Okay. Um, you have ended this relationship. There's no second chances for you, but this person is confused because they thought that they would always have a second chance. Maybe. That's the thing about people like this that don't take accountability, right? Um, they don't believe that they have to change anything or do anything differently for your forgiveness. Forgiveness is one thing, but it's like, I can forgive you without expect, like uh, accepting you back into my life, right? It's also kind of a weird toxic dynamic in the sense that this person is the kind of person that believes just because they're mom or grandma, you have to let them do whatever they want to you. You have to accept it and accept them the way they are and accept the, the treatment that you get because they're mom and grandma and they're family. So they're allowed to do whatever they want. They can treat you however they want and you are just expected to just always let them back in, but no. Someone here said, no, no, okay? And they don't get it. Now they're like, oh, I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, alone, that kind of a mentality is like, no wonder it's just way too, uh, I wanna say like taxing to have this kind of a dynamic with someone. It's just like, how are you gonna have a healthy relationship dynamic with someone, with someone that never believes they do anything wrong and constantly see themselves in the victim mentality. And you cannot tell this person, you do you think you could go to the, a person like this, a mother figure, a grandma like this and say, look, you kind of fucked me up mentally with the way that you were, okay? You, you gave me issues. You gave me trauma with your shit that you refused to heal. This is the kind of person that will look at you and go, I have no idea what you're talking about. I never did that. I didn't do all that to you. I, I did all, I treated you so well and I did the best that I ever could. And I was the best person ever. And I was the best mother that I could be. And I never did that to you. I don't remember that. I have no, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, oh God, it's just like already my, I'm like, ugh. Difficult, very difficult. A personality type like this, very difficult because they will always find a way to make them, then they're gonna turn it around on you, right? And they're gonna be like, you're the one that did this and this and this. What's the Eight of Swords? Now they feel trapped or stuck. Because of a relationship evolving to the next phase. Yeah, they feel they feel like their hands are tied from evolving something to the next phase with you. They're trying to get back in, get back in, get a foot back in the door. They're trying to evolve something here to the next phase, but they feel like their hands are tied. Okay? Because of boundaries, because of someone's strong boundaries, okay? They didn't think that you were gonna have such strong boundaries with this person. They never expected it you to um, maybe even completely go no contact, okay? What's the page of wands? This mother figure got a message here from a king of pentacles, or they sent a message to the king of pentacles. 
about some sort of heartbreak. Oh, I'm so heartbroken. Oh, hurts so much. Yeah, five of wands. Oh, this fighting. I don't know why they fight with me this way. I didn't do anything to them. Okay, let's pay the wands. I can't believe this. It hurts so much. Separation, I cannot even make it up. I can't even look. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm not buying it. Okay. I believe, I to some extent, I do believe that this person is sad. I do believe that they feel the effects of the separation and that it hurts them, that there's no contact and that they feel lonely. I do believe that. But what is almost like frustrating in the reading is that I can also feel that this person does not take any accountability for why it is the way that it is and that it may be because of them, because of the way that they are. They don't want to see it that way. They just, it's just frustrating. So what's this three of swords and this five, a thief? They feel like something was stolen from them. Who's this king of pentacles? They feel like something was stolen from them, okay? A false person. So there's a king of pentacles here who's a false person. Okay. They feel like something was stolen from them. Like, like with my, this could be like, you know, like grandbaby thing. Like I said, old granny on the rocking chair. Oh, my grandkids, I don't get to see them at all. They feel like it was stolen from them, but it's like, there's probably very good reason why things are the way that they are, okay? I don't know. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection. Yeah, they feel like um, some sort of unconditional love was stolen from them. The problem is, though, is that this person is almost incapable of unconditionally loving someone else. What they feel like was stolen from them was that other people unconditionally love them. That's what they're expecting. That's exactly what this energy is expecting, is that... They can act however they want. They can do whatever they want. They can be um, as neglectful, abusive, emotionally manipulative as they want, but people will always unconditionally love them and show them unconditional, unrelenting affection and attention, okay? They want the unconditional from someone else, from other people that they can just, you know, act how they want, but it's unconditional. And it's like, no, no, definitely not. No one here is gonna open up their door to a lifetime of trauma because they're dealing with someone who is ruled by their own shadow, super fucking toxic and doesn't wanna grow up and is always playing the victim and acting like they have no idea what they did wrong. It's just annoying. It's frustrating, annoying to deal with people like this and, um, Honestly, who would want to do it? Okay, even family or not. Family or not. Who wants to deal with something like that? What's the Six of Cups? The Four of Wands. So somebody, this person is now reminiscing about the past. They're reminiscing about, you know, the, the home. Maybe when you guys all lived together. How nice it was. Yeah, this person has deep emotional feelings here. They're reminiscing about the past, thinking about the past. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's the moon? Oh, outdated thinking in reverse. Replaying events over in your head in reverse. How interesting is that, that it just came out in reverse? So they're not replaying certain events. This is selective memory. Cassette in reverse. That's what I'm getting off this. 
selective memory, right? So they are, I do feel like they're reminiscing. I do feel that with the Six of Cups and the Moon. Yeah, that's definitely reminiscing about the past. And with the Four of Wands, like a house that was built, a life that was built together, living together. But it's like selective memory. This person is not thinking about all of the memories. They're not thinking about how everything was. They're only thinking about the certain memories of the past that they, like, look at this. Again, with the Nine of Cups. This is, this is, yeah, exactly. They only think about those memories where they are the savior. And they are so nice and caring and giving. And I was always so nice. And I was always so giving. And I always did everything. And I always did this. Selective memory. They're not thinking, of, they're apparently not thinking about all those memories where they were a fucking ass. Where they were uh, mean, disrespectful. Where they traumatized someone. Where they were neglectful and abusive and, uh, and emotionally manipulative. No, they're not thinking about all those times. They're only thinking about the selective memory of, oh, I was always such a nice person, right? I mean... The most frustrating thing about being pe around people like this is because they constantly invalidate your pain, right? They constantly invalidate what you went through or how you're doing or uh, your your life, basically. I mean, they just, this is the kind of person, they will never ask you how you're doing. They don't honestly care, okay? This is a kind of person that will tell you, um, oh, I talked to this person on the phone, then I talked to that person on the phone, and then I, you know, I got all the gossip from the whole town, and then today I'm going to do this, tomorrow I'm going to do that. Oh, and did you hear next weekend? Oh, yeah, they're coming over. They're always just talking about themselves or their problems. They, this is not the kind of mother or grandmother figure that will sit down with you and gen genuinely from their heart go, how you doing today? I really want to know about you. And then they listen, right? I mean, honestly, it's just... Now, why do they feel so burdened? Ten of Wands. They feel so burdened because they're only thinking about themselves. Look at that, Nine of Cups. They're only thinking about themselves again and what would make them happy and how happy they were and how happy, you know, it's like um, their own wish fulfillment. Nine of Wands, again, alone. Nine of Wands, more cards of being alone, feeling alone. I'm so alone now. Queen of Swords. Ooh, I don't know. Is this who they're thinking about? Or is this this person? Maybe you're dealing with an air sign. I don't know. The Hierophant. Two of Cups and the Hierophant. It's about a relationship. A relationship with someone. So maybe this, this uh, mature woman is thinking about this relationship to this Queen of Swords. Okay, I don't know. Huh. And they feel burdened, okay? Well, you know, it would it would probably benefit this person greatly if it burdened them to the point of like actual self-reflection, okay? Actually going within about something, but I don't know. I don't think they're really capable of that. Ten of Swords, they just feel so betrayed. They they feel betrayed. See, that's the irony of it all, right? They feel betrayed. They feel betrayed by no contact. They feel betrayed that you walked away and shut them out of your life. That's betrayal. What this person did to you is probably betrayal, real betrayal. And that's why you walked away from them in the first place, right? Yeah. What this mature woman did to someone was probably real betrayal, true betrayal. So much betrayal and stabs in the back that you cut this person off forever and you said, I don't ever want to see you again or talk to you again because you betrayed me. And this lady, manipulative, toxic, abusive, neglectful lady has the fucking nerve to turn around and say they feel betrayed by you because you cut them off. That says everything about what kind of a person this is, by the way. Yeah. Eight of Swords. And they feel so trapped in, in their head and bound now. They feel so stuck now. Okay. And burdened now. They feel so burdened now. They feel so stressed out. 
backstab, betray. They have so much burden on them. Wow. Okay. How the tables turn, I would say to that one, huh? How the tables turn. Yeah, and they're, and they're, look at them. Still, still selfish, calculating, manipulative, conniving, like always. Okay? Still sitting there, groveling, probably gossiping, okay? Calling you this, calling you that. Feeling so betrayed and burdened and like, how could you do this to me? And it's like, no, I honestly, I don't, I'm not getting a single ounce of self-reflection. All I get is self-pity. Self-pity, that's the best way to describe this. Oh, self-pity. Everybody pity me, please, here. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what this is. High Priestess, yeah. It's just a shit ton of self-pity. Wallowing in it. Oh, everybody feels so sad for me and sorry for me. After I, you know, ruined a lot of people's lives, stabbed everybody in the back. Didn't give a fuck about anybody but myself. And now I'm sitting here all by myself and I want everybody to feel sad and sorry for me. It's the kind of person that did it to themselves. They just don't want to see it that way. They're not going to take accountability for that. Yeah. The world. And that's how the cycle ended. And you ended this chapter with this person. You closed the cycle and you closed the door. You closed the door. And they can't understand how you did. Why? How, how could you do that to me? I feel so betrayed. The audacity. Okay? Alone of that... But this person, Queen of Cups Reverse, what do you want me to say? Okay? And here they go. You're planning, or is it, who's planning? That's the Three of Wands. Looking towards the future. Trying to block something now. Oh. Trying to stop something. Trying to stop you from walking away. Trying to stop you from getting away. Trying to get in your way. Trying to block you. Trying to put up a fight now. Okay? Yeah, because they, now they feel so unhappy. All of a sudden, they feel so unhappy and confused unhappy and confused okay could be drinking a lot this person probably drinks a lot okay and that's where they wallow in that self-pity right maybe that's why they don't take the time to self-reflect they don't got a clear head they should try maybe okay all right Sagittarius I don't, that's it that's all I have for you today that's the message I guess I don't know Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.